So let's finish our discussion of macromolecules and let's talk about the macromolecule of a fat. Now in order to make fats, we need to react alcohols, so alcohols plus carboxylic acids. Now if you remember, the reaction between the alcohol and a carboxylic acid would yield an ester. So therefore, fats, fats are not like carbohydrates and proteins, they are not polymers, so let's establish this, not a polymer, they are an ester. Now, we react an alcohol and this alcohol is usually glycerol, because glycerol has three OH functional groups. And the carboxylic acid usually is a fatty acid. Now let's see how is that done and how do we form fats. Now here we have three molecules of fatty acids and those three molecules, number one, number two, number three, the radical here are different. So we have three different molecules of fatty acids. And here we have one molecule of glycerol. Now here you notice, as we said, glycerol has three OH functional groups. So how does these four molecules react together to give fats or our ester? Now let's see, the reaction will be as follows. This is a condensation reaction, not a condensation polymerization. You have to know the difference. A condensation reaction yields water, we release water. In condensation polymerization, you have a polymer along with the water. So this is not a polymerization. So keep this in mind, not polymerization. So how will this react? Now notice this, the OH from one molecule of fat we react with the H here and you have water. The same thing happens in OH from the fatty acid with the H and lastly we have the last molecule of fatty acid. Now therefore we are releasing three molecules of water. Now the rest of the reaction will proceed normally. We start from the left, so we have our radical right there, and then our carbon double bonded to the oxygen, and then you can forget about the OH and the H from here. So you forget about these, you already reacted, and then you link this to the oxygen, as we did right there, and you can proceed normally. Now, these are linked. Don't forget about these links. So basically, we just linked the rest of the fatty acid to the molecule of the glycerol. Glycerol. I was having trouble pronouncing this. Now, this here is one macro molecule of fat. Now, why do we say macro? Macro indicates that it's um, a big thing, not like micro. Macro is indicating that it's bigger. Now, that's it for the reaction. What you guys need to know about fats is not how these compounds are linked. You guys need to know that in order to make a fat, a macromolecule of fat, you need one molecule of glycerol sorry and you need three molecules of fatty acids in order to get one macro molecule of fat and you guys need to know that this is not a polymer that we're making we're making an ester because we have an alcohol as we mentioned here we have an alcohol which is glycerol and we have a carboxylic acid which is the fatty acid so it's the reaction between an alcohol and an acid which yields an ester so that's it for fats. We just have one more video and we're done with organic chemistry, which is how do we reverse the reactions of macromolecules? How do we hydrolyze it in the, in the lab? So stay tuned and good luck.